Hello everyone, I'm Mario Leal. I am the art teacher at Keys Academy in Harlingen, Texas. And I made this, um, making this video for mainly my students so they can see, you know, I'm still doing good, I'm still drawing, uh, just to give them a little bit of a, give y'all a little bit of inspiration during these uh, crazy March and April months that we're going through right now. Um, one of the projects I try to assign you guys is to, if you're an art one, you, you pick this uh, wildlife drawing, this bird, and you do a sketch of the bird. You're supposed to kind of like label the parts of the animal, um, do a brief little essay describing, you know, its eating habits, its um, range, its rarity, um, you know, biological type stuff about the animal and of course if you can find anything interesting you know include some of that too so this past week I went online and I found this um, online challenge on Instagram and one of the topics or subjects to try to draw was uh, an armadillo so what I did was I took that and I kind of redid the assignment that I gave you guys but based on an armadillo so not a bird just a, a mammal and so I have this little time-lapse section that you'll see in a couple minutes or in a little bit of me sketching it out from pencil to ink and I didn't include the watercolor part but when I discuss it you'll get to see the, the final product so here we go Okay guys, here we go. Here's the final product with all the color thrown on there. The uh, the pictures, I used um, some inspiration from Pinterest to get the, the color tones of the animal. It's not a photographic representation. No, this is just a sketch. This is just uh, a drawing art. But um, you can see here the kind of the, the shape, the size, trying to get the scale down as accurate as possible. Um, the, the hands compared to the the head and then the whole body and then adding some background color to it to kind of complete this little section right here I could have left it white but I want this I want these images to stand out along the whole design so what I included was uh, the terminology for the animal the, the name the species, the type of mammal it is, it's a mammal, an omnivore, um, their range and sizes. So at this kind of, I think I got all this information from National Geographic online. So I think there's a bunch of different varieties of armadillo. And so this includes all of them. This is not like the Texas armadillo can get up to 59 inches long. I, I don't think that's a real realistic thing for us or it could, that it could reach up to 120 pounds. I mean, my dog, my biggest dog is 60 pounds, and this is like the size of a, a human, <laughs> weight-wise. Um, I found it was a, it's a Spanish word meaning little armored one. And they're the only mammals that have their shells like this. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, kind of flipping the colors around to give them some contrast here. You have these uh, reddish browns, the sienna color, against this blue right there. 
And then here we have the uh, the second half of the, the sketch. And so um, they curl up into the balls to confuse predators and they can sleep up to 16 hours a day. That was um, some information to me. And I can imagine, you know, with the heat and the, the region that we live in, that would probably be the best thing, especially since they have a, a low metabolism rate, meaning that uh, they can't really handle heating their bodies up when it gets really cold. So during the, the cold temperatures, when it, we have like freezes and stuff like that, I was reading that they a lot of them will end up dying off because they can't keep their bodies warm enough. So that, that was new information to me. Um, they have a pointy shovel shaped snout, which is right here, um, which is good for eating bugs, small vertebrates, plants, and some fruit. Their eyesight's not as great, so they use their, their sense of smell to, um, to hunt. But this, this is a sketch I did, you know, kind of just to show you guys, I'm still doing my sketching, still drawing. Unfortunately, not as often as I used to because, um, you know, I'm trying to help my kids get through their schoolwork and, you know, keep up with you guys' calls and emails and stuff like that. So I hope this uh, gives you a little bit of inspiration and um, just a reminder to keep up with all your classwork and hopefully we'll get to see each other again someday.